In this video, I'll be showing you the one method to help me stabilize, lower, and make my ping much more consistent. Updating your network drivers. Yeah, something so simple has helped me and will probably help you too. Without further ado, let's get started. To start, open the device manager and click on the drop down arrow for network adapters. Here, pay attention to what brand of network adapter you have. For me, I have a Realtek gaming adapter, 2.5 gigabit family controller. Now, with this information, head to Google and search up the name of your network adapter and click on the link for your drivers. When you find it, download it, and then you may need to extract it and start the installation process just like with my drivers. Make sure to install the correct version of drivers as some people use Windows 10 and others use Windows 11. If you don't know what Windows version you are on, right click on the Windows logo and then select system. Here should tell you what version of Windows you have. For me, I have Windows 10. For some people, they need to head back to the device manager and manually select their drivers. This is not the case for most people, so go ahead and skip this part of the video. We don't need to manually select your drivers. To manually select drivers, double click on your network adapter in device manager and then navigate to the driver tab. Click on update driver, browse my computer for drivers, and finally, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and choose a network adapter file you downloaded earlier. Now that we all have our drivers installed, we can now optimize the settings. Go on the power management tab and uncheck these settings and then go to advanced settings. Here, anything with offload, light, or anything that indicates a speed reduction, go ahead and disable the setting. As always, I'll show the settings that I change on screen. For me, the settings triple E max support speed and speed and duplex have different options. For these settings, select the high speed option available. I'll be choosing 2.5 gigabit. Once you finish adjusting all of your settings, then you can go ahead and exit out the control panel and boot up Fortnite with better ping. If my optimizations worked or even slightly helped, I would appreciate it if you guys like, share, and subscribe as I'm on my way to being a YouTube partner and only need 3,000 more hours of watch time. If you want to watch more content, watch this video right here or watch part 2 of the Network Optimizations Guide when I post it. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.